Hello there, it's Terry Britton, and uh, I'm about to show you how to use the uh, voice meter software in order to bring a Skype call and ca a caller in where you can monitor the caller and they can hear your microphone. And it also gets into the recording in your OBS software. And uh, imagine that my webcam is, um, is on the left end of there, captured window is on the right. Uh, here we'll go ahead and move this. So imagine it's something sort of like I'm talking over here and looking where is it? looking over here as if I'm talking to the person. <laughs> and uh, uh, so let me turn this camera off. The idea being that you got this uh, really cool piece of software here that's going to do a whole lot for you to get the uh, the monitoring done, get the recording of the audio right here get this get the Skype audio into the situation where it's audible but also bring it into here as you see it playing back in here right there that's just going to the monitoring right here so let me turn that music down and um, so the A ones are going to this slider here, and those are going to my headphones, my line out here, where are my headphones. I'm not bothering to monitor through love of my microphone, which is coming in here, my line in, uh, because I have hardware monitoring in the uh, USB device that I use for my microphone input, okay, and have my headphones. So, don't have to monitor here, but you could. You'll hear a slight delay, there's a little bit of latency. Um, the, the output devices are these Bs, and that goes out to this slider, and that goes out sort of like a stereo mix uh, type of an output. But it's more powerful than stereo mix because I have independent control over the volumes. I can turn this up and down. I can change its EQ. I can send multiple signals into the same thing and just dump them in as if it was a Y chord, digital Y chord. Uh, but the reason I'm using this particular one is just to be able to monitor the caller uh, coming in from Skype. If I also sent them out through the B, I would have the Skype caller coming in and it would be sent back out to the Skype caller. But I'm using my voice meter mix output here as my microphone, you see, for, the, uh, for them to hear me. And they also are able to hear the same thing you're hearing, the music or whatever else, a playback of uh, something that you wanted to share with the caller. And, uh, but you see my speaker output is going to this cable input right here. And there's a little bit of a trick to which cable input you select. Um, because you, you, because I'll show you in a sec. Uh, under settings, just go to audio. And you'll see I've got voice meter output as the input for my desktop audio device. So that's this mixer. And similar how you would use stereo mix or something like that, or just point this at speakers or the many different things. Normally people point this to speakers to get the desktop audio in. But here I'm pointing to this voice meter mixer, so I have some slider control over at least two inputs, see? Uh, I've got my mic input level, which I have. Uh, uh, okay. So, um, and the music. So, sorry. Just blasted you I think all right but the uh, cable input cable output here that I'm able to select from this tool is simply the virtual audio cable okay and that's the one I want as my mic input I'm letting the Skype speaker the people on Skype be my be the microphone and that's nice thing about OBS is that I've got to separate able to separate the microphone from the desktop audio but here I'm letting the Skype speaker be the microphone, where my microphone is being part of the desktop audio. All right. Now, when you, let me get this out of the way. When you're selecting this cable input though, you'll get an error message when you start your preview or re your recording. If you're trying to have the monitoring in this input uh, be the WDM version of this VB audio virtual cable. Uh, the WDM doesn't like sharing. It doesn't like sharing. So it's 
the OBS is going to complain that if you've got this one selected in the mixer here, then OBS is going to complain that the line's already in use and it doesn't have access to it. So that's why you have to come down here to the bottom and select the MME version. It doesn't mind sharing as much. Now they're just the KS audio point, but I got a little clicking, some noise when I used KS last time, so I'm still experimenting with that. I'll let you know uh, how that all works. But uh, so, but for now, just realize if you pick the MME and have that set up as this second one, that allows you to use this slider and send it out to the A out to your headphones. Okay, without sending it into the mix. So, so again, you're getting your microphone and anything, any other sounds that you want to send into the uh, mixer uh, together that are going to be go out to the OBS for the recording or to the stream. And then the speaker of the uh, on Skype, the person talking on Skype is going to come in over here to the to the microphone input and uh just turn them down there we go and so you have control like that okay and uh if you need to turn down the speaker by the way the person just talking uh over skype needs to say you can't do it from the mixer now but you can do it right from obs by pulling this back right here and that will adjust their volume coming in from skype or you can adjust it in the skype options window over here by t turning it down down over here okay so you see the two do this same kind of a thing uh i don't know if i can get over there fast enough to show so you see that's now that's not affecting my monitoring though whereas if i do it over here i can monitor what's happening here, if I do it over here, I can't actually hear the change because it's only affecting the stream or the recording output. All right, well, I hope that's clear of what the settings have to be. So let's take a look at uh, where this program can be found. Uh, just to show you, if you type in voice meter into Google, it'll, the very top one is the correct link. And there's also some other videos that are really good for how to use voice meter in here. And then the uh, program is donationware. It's not crippleware. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't only partially work or have some kind of noises that it puts into your audio stream until you pay. It does have a little bit of uh, slight, um, oh, just, what do they call that? Nagware in a way. But you can get rid of the nagware just by telling it, you know, that you did make a donation. It's totally honor system. It's a complete honor system. So you give it anything that you want. I, it's been suggested $20, $30. I say this thing's probably worth $50, but uh, if you only have $5 or $3, go ahead, make the donation. And then you can click on the little thing that's going to come up in voice meter. Um, that, uh, let's see, uh, where does it come up? Oh, that's just the, uh, the page. Um, well, then you'll be able to say that you made the donation. You'll feel good about yourself, okay? That's all I care about. I feel, I want you to feel good about yourself. Oh, and the, the, yeah, the Nagware thing I'm thinking of is not in this program, actually, at all. It's in uh, Asio Bridge. Asio Bridge is another really amazing program that is provided by the same person for people that have uh, equipment that has an Asio driver, okay? Um, and it allows... Like right here, I have my Focusrite USB audio driver. This is another virtual cable that I could bring into my system, into play, uh, to use if I, uh, if I so desired. It's a little more tricky to set up. You've got to make sure that you've got the correct uh, resolutions, um, the right uh, sample rates set up. And uh, you do that up in here. And you have to set your latency. And... Uh, well, actually, just the latency that you have to set up in there, yes. And uh, and then you can use the uh, use that as another virtual cable. This so, but this basically comes with two virtual cables. The cable when you install this, it already has the VB Audio virtual cable is part of your setup, and it's got the virtual cable that is the voice meter, virtual input and the virtual outputs. Okay. So uh, you actually can tap off of the cable output at it from a different point too, but uh, we won't go into that. So the whole point of this 
exercise was to talk about how to get Skype callers into your recording and into your stream where they can hear your microphone and you can hear them and be monitoring what they're saying and uh, with no real latency problems or from they don't get an echo of hearing their voice and uh, it all gets put out into the stream and uh, and is lovely so so that's the story that's what we are, we have set up so you follow my uh, what I've done here and you'll be fine so just to give you a quick step by step I pick my microphone in here okay put it in here I select B so it's going out but I don't bother picking A because I have monitoring built into my device if you don't you want to be able to hear your voice then include the A and it'll send it to the monitor and next you send anything that you want to hear like a media player or I think virtual dub is great because you can queue it up for beds and uh, different sounds uh, or intros and just play it and it's easy to see where the bed begins and ends because of the waveforms but anything you send in here this is your now your uh, like your default audio device oh and that's an important point in fact you want to make sure that voice meter is selected as your default playback device and as your default recording device okay so right click on it and say set as default similar to this set as default okay make sure both of those are default also you want to make sure everything that you're playing with is at the same sample rate otherwise you can get clicking problems uh, for streaming on YouTube uh, uh, even though they like recorded materials like this recording they they like recorded materials they say to be 48k uh, kilohertz sample rate or 96 kilohertz sample rate for the uploads that you're doing but if you're doing streaming they want 44.1 so uh, what can I say now if you're doing a stream at 720p or 1080p you can do 192 kbps and you'll get that all that level of audio quality and you get 128 kbps at anything lower at 480p and 360p okay uh, i think at 240p you get 64 kbps for your audio quality so again it's, it's a setting that you'd want to make over here in your encoder see i have it set to 44.1 for streaming yeah, but i have a bit rate set to 192 because i'm doing a music show uh later so um so that would be that's for streaming i actually have this not set up correctly for doing recordings i should have 48k stereo select for this recording thing but anyway that's that's how you would set it up if you were recording is put it to 48 for streaming to youtube they want it apparently at 44.1 okay it's not documented well at YouTube but the 192 at 1080p and 720p is actually valid and it does not throw an error message and I checked my video download and sure enough it was at 192 so they're encoding at 192 so you can send them a 192 kbps audio stream in your stream live stream okay or in any 1080p and 720p upload that you record okay so that's uh i think that's enough to fill your head with oh yeah oh and the final step again was uh to make sure your mme cable output vb not the wdm the mme and then in just simply have that selected so that microphone getting all your input from the voice meter and sending this out to the cable so that you can have independent monitoring of it and bring it in as the as if it was the microphone input for OBS and then you'll be golden okay okay well I hope that was really cool and now you feel like you can uh, use this to record your Skype programs all right that, I think that's it and uh, if you have any questions please do make comments and ask questions I always respond pretty much the same day even within minutes and uh, 
Uh, so ask questions in the comments and do subscribe to my channel. There's tons and tons of videos on my channel. Come in. I do a show every single night that's a live show. So, And, uh, of course, like it too. Give it a thumbs up. All right. Take care now.